Alert Weather Day. Sponsored by Mr. Electric, your area expert for home generac generators. And tomorrow all the way through Father's Day Sunday for consecutive first alert weather days. And this is for the threat not of severe storms, but rather dangerous heat and humidity. This is our first real heat wave that we've seen so far this season. You have to remember it is still spring. Summer doesn't start officially until the 20th there 350 PM, I believe. But looking at these temperatures warming up into the mid to even upper 90s by Father's Day weekend and Father's Day weekend Saturday and Sunday. Those will be the hottest days we have seen yet with the heat index anywhere from 98 to maybe up to 105 degrees. I have to point out that there is a chance of seeing a pop up shower or storm by Father's Day Sunday today. Not bad out there. Temps will make it into the mid to upper 80s. The big ridge of high pressure, that heat dome, if you will, that's giving us this stretch of hot and humid weather that starts to break down and that allows some more showers and storms to fire up next week and it will knock down our temperatures just a little bit. We'll be back still above average, but in the low to mid 90s, not mid to upper 90s. Great day. To be outside on the pool deck, make sure you're wearing your sunscreen. We are starting to see some more cloud cover push in and that trend will continue as we go through the rest of the afternoon into the evening. Temps again in the mid to upper 80s. Got that sunscreen on just some basic heat safety pointers here. Download the 48 weather app. It is free, unlike all those streaming services, but you get the hour by hour forecast. Know exactly what that feels like. Temperature is see what kind of wind we're dealing with. Most importantly, stay hydrated. Try and avoid those caffeinated beverages. Look, I drink coffee. I get up very early, but you have to mix in some water. Also some sport drinks. Always a good idea. Stay cool. Take frequent breaks inside. Find some air conditioning. If your AC goes out, make sure you're at least running a fan. And this is a big one here, especially with the first heat wave of the season. Know the signs of heat related illness, that being heat stroke and heat exhaustion, both very serious. Now we've had the blue over us, the low comfortable dew points, but already seeing those dew points climbing into the 60s and watch what happens here over the next couple of days. We get that Southeasterly flow returning all of that Gulf of Mexico moisture continues to stream in and there's no more blue to be found on this map across the southeast. We're all going to be sweating it out here, especially by Father's Day Sunday. Heat index here for tomorrow afternoon, feeling like low to mid 90s. That's day one. The more days we string together that have a heat index in the 90s to triple digits, the more likely people are to start suffering from heat exhaustion and heat stroke. So I know some of you have to work outside, but if you can just make sure you're taking breaks or work earlier or later in the day when it's not so hot. All of us in the 80s here, low to mid 80s at that. First alert weather days tomorrow. This is when we really start to see that heat and humidity ramping up. One thing to do early in the morning, that's cut the grass, work in the garden. Don't do it over the weekend. It's going to be just too hot and uncomfortable for that. One more look at your seven and now 10 day forecast. Better chances for storms by early next week. But for now, stay hydrated, stay cool. Check on your pets and your neighbors.